Say that a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. My first step started as far back as I can remember. If I said it was easy, I wouldn't be telling the truth. I went into the foster system very young because my mom's been sick. Father Edward sure found a doozy for my last stop before turning 18. Thankfully, he introduced me to my faith and boy did I need it. My name is David Cutter and this is my story. Sheriff Jensen, is that place a church? Oh, uh, no, David. Well, it used to be years ago, but it's a lodge now. What kind of lodge? It's where the wheelmakers meet. Wheelmakers? What are wheelmakers? Actually, not too sure myself that they just asked me to join. Uh, but I do know they've been around a long time. Hey, so David, you're new to a small town. We have a theater, and uh, it's where a lot of the kids your age like to hang out. Yeah, I'm not really the hanging out type. So, so what do you like to do? I mean, besides, play guitar. I don't know. Um, do you have gum or a mint? Uh, yeah, in the glove box. Essentials of life? What is this? So, David, uh, tell me about you. There's not really much to tell. You like school? I like to read. Cool. There's a... Actually, we have a record store that also sells books. Um... Have you had a lot of foster kids? Uh, no. You're my first. Oh, that's different. So long story short, uh, I like kids and I like small town living and I like police work. Uh, come to find out, <laughs> my ex didn't like any of it. Yeah, so she left. Uh, but Father Edwards, when he knew that I still wanted to try foster parenting, thought a teenager would be easier than a child. Well, I can see that. Well, here we are. Here we are. Obviously, this is the kitchen. We have the dining room there. Behind is the living room. And then upstairs are the bathrooms and the bedrooms. Oh, and that outbuilding. So I used to be in a band. So there is a whole lot of equipment out there, and you are more than welcome to use it. Thanks, Rob. It's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> So, you know, I'm uh, brand new at this, uh, so I guess we should set some rules. Um, start by establishing the curfew. I'm thinking 10 p.m. during the week, midnight on the weekends. Is that all right? Great. Okay. 
Uh, I know it's early, but you know, if you're hungry, I could make us something. No, I had a snack on the train. I'd like to explore the town, if I could. What time do you usually eat dinner? Uh, I'm from uh, 7 p.m. got myself. So if you'll just be back by then. Yeah, I'm sure you noticed on the way in, town is small, so shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I'll be back by seven. Excuse me? Hey. Oh. Yeah? I'd like to pay for this. Paradise for Jane. Um, is uh, that for school or something? Are you new here? Yeah, I just moved here. And no, it's not for school. Hmm. Bummer for you. 98 cents a tax. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Bummer it's not for school or bummer I just moved here? Both. Where is everyone? Church? <laughs> church. If you want to go to church, you gotta go to the next town over. But, uh, the kids usually hang out at the Springs on Sunday. Why aren't you there? Not my scene. Yum, this smells good. I'm sorry, am I late? I thought dinner was at seven. It, it is. I, I'm sorry, I was so focused on your arrival that I completely forgot about a meeting I have this evening and I have to leave right now, I, unless you'd like me to cancel. No, I have a book I can read. Okay, well, let me fix your bowl. So you, so you made it to Causeway? Yeah, cool place. Well, look, I want to hear all about it. I have to go right now, but will you tell me about it later? Good night. In the presence of these witnesses, do you swear to guard the holy secrets of the will makers? under penalty of death. Hail, enlightened master! Yes, enlightened master. Hail, enlightened master! As we bring this ceremony to a close, I now proclaim Rob Jensen, unofficial willmaker. Hail, Ufa! Congratulations, buddy. Yeah, You're one you. of us now. Thank you. That oath, though, that was, that was more yeah. intense than I was expecting. Yeah, that's just prank. More importantly, though, boys, where are we going to celebrate? Oh, guys, I, I can't tonight. I, I gotta get home to my foster kid. Oh, that's right. Oh, right. Yeah. We heard you were getting a kid. So, high school? Uh, yeah, senior. That starts tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll have uh, Blake and Jaden look out for him. You know, show them the ropes. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sure thing. Yeah. Don't forget your rope. Oh, oh yeah. Don't forget yeah. that. I'll see you guys. Right. See you. And then the dreaded first day of school. You see, I've been the new kid lots of times, but the day got really weird. Oh. 
Good morning, class. Today we have a special guest. Please give a warm welcome to Mayor Balspa. It's that time of year again. In the traditions of this town, our senior class has always led the charge for the Enshrinement Firelight Festival. This year in particular is extra special. Oh yes, come in. Class, this is David Cutter. Today is his first day. David, there is an empty desk next to Jaden. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Looks like we've got a Jesus freak in our class. Boo! Class, focus! Mr. Mayor, please continue. I expect everyone to volunteer their time building floats, decorating the town square for the bonfire, signing up for the Princess Firelight pageant, Boys, don't feel left out. Hey, you going tomorrow night? Like I have a choice. Hey, that's mine. What are you gonna do about it? Jaden, we teach kindness here, and you are being unkind. Yes, sir. Can I sit here? Whatever. Are you in a band? Dude, not here to make friends. Sorry. I play guitar. So the curiosity killed the cat side of me took over. I couldn't help but think, what would possess a town to turn a church into, well, a lodge? Put that back, Kevin. Better put it back. Hello? Now you did it. He sure did. <laughs> what? What's your name? Olio. My name's Odita, and this is Kevin. Will you be my friend? Mm, yes, I'll be your friend. Hey! Hey! Wow, uh, how did you do that? It's magic. Why don't you be a good little girl and get that dagger on the table? Okay, I'll do it. Let's test its sharpness, shall we? You mean this? Show me how it works. Okay. If I have to, like this. <laughs> Kevin? Little girl? Kevin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
God, Miss Leon, you scared me! I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Why aren't the lights on? Oh, I am so sorry. I didn't even realize it was getting that dark. I'm so busy. Well, no need to cook tonight. We have pizza. Okay. Is there anything else I can do for you then? No, join us. Where are Olguita and Gomez? Um, Olguita is actually doing her homework. And, uh... Gomez! Olguita! Please calm down, there's pizza! Oh, there you guys are. Good morning. Bendición, mijo. This is delicious. Mira, muchacho, you haven't said grace yet. Sorry. <laughs> Dios mío, este muchacho. All right, let us pray. Thank you, God, for the bountiful food that we were about to eat. Thank you for good friends, for happy smiles, and the wonderful family that you have bestowed upon us. In your name we pray. Amen. Shit has been happening at the house. I mean, it's like because we're on the cusp of my 18th birthday, the gates of hell are gonna open up and swallow my family whole. Oh, oh, and my birthday falls on a full moon. On Halloween. Dramatic much? No, seriously. None of this happened before. Why now? What's the change? Oh my god, am I never allowed to leave Mission Point? Is this the universe telling me I can't go to college and get the hell out of this place? Babe, babe, chill. Obviously, your housekeeper left a window open while they were cleaning. And the flies were drawn to the stench of Gomez. Stop. That's not nice. Whatever. It was fine when we were just kids, but now it's weird that they still live in your guest house. Don't your dad pay them enough to move? You sound jealous, and that's idiotic. Let's go back to talking about me. I have a better idea. Yes, 
Good morning. What time did you come home last night? Does it matter? It matters. You know I should punish you. Go ahead. You know I can't do that with the enshrinement parade and festival coming up. How would it look if their own mayor's daughter didn't make an appearance? It would look like there's disharmony in the household, which there is. Don't raise your voice to me, young lady. I can do whatever I want. You just made it clear. You can't ground me. Leanne, I demand some respect. Ugh, I can't wait to go to college. Thank you. You're lucky, Rosita. Gomez is a good boy. He has his moments. Olguita, on the other hand, I don't know how she's gonna turn out. It's hard for a girl to grow up without a mom. I did the best I could. We'll make her meeting? Yeah, but it shouldn't be that long. You have homework? I do. As a wheelmaker, fellas, you're gonna have connections for the rest of your lives. We're like a family here. We're gonna help you get into the best schools, find the best careers, and heck, we might even help you find your soulmate. <laughs> well, it's true. My father was a wheelmaker, and it was his connections that got me into Tufts undergrad. Let's face it, it wasn't done on my grades alone. <laughs> Uh, you look as uncomfortable as I feel. Yeah, this isn't really my thing, but, but my mom works for Mr. Balsba, and he's kind of been like a father figure to me. I get it. So you're kind of doing this out of respect. I guess. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. We've met some impressive young men and look forward to speaking to some of you further. As a member of the Supreme High Council of the Wheelmakers, I proclaim this meeting has come to order. Hail, ho! We come in thy name, benevolent master, and invite thee to inhabit each of us, that we may please thee with the words we speak. Hail, ho!
And with, and with this, this blood of goat, goat we, we seal, seal our commitment to secrecy. Brothers, our problem is solved. I will pass on the torch at the appointed moment. So you found your long lost son? Shouldn't the torch be passed before his 18th birthday? Have faith. The benevolent master will provide. It requires obedience. Total obedience. Total unquestioned obedience. A human offering will be required. Is he saying what I think he's saying? This young, innocent soul will be called upon on the eve of enshrinement and full moon. I will read you what my Lord told me. I shall give thee an heir, but in return thou must sacrifice to me whomever enters the sanctuary before the clock strikes midnight on the eve of enshrinement. If not, disaster shall befall thee. There's no turning back, boys. It's my solemn vow. The wheels are turning. So mote it be. So mote it be. Greetings, children of the earth. I've been waiting for our time together. Oh my, I can sense all of you around me. I can, I can even see some of you. Have you embraced the spirit world today? Have you learned how to protect yourselves from all negative energy and influence? Man, this town is so weird. Learn how. It's all in my new book, The Supernatural in You. Remember this. Tomorrow, I will be at Causeway Record and Books, signing autographed copies of The Supernatural and You from 2 to 7 p.m. I am sure I will see you there. How's your first week going? Okay, I guess. Anything special planned for today? I was gonna swing by Causeway. Oh. Have you met Jaden and Blake yet? Yeah. We don't have that much in common, really. Hmm. I don't really fit in with the cool kids. Keep trying. I give it time. There goes a servant of the Most High God. Why are you here, servant of the Most High God? Have you come to destroy us? <laughs> Your face. Oh, servant of the high god, I see you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Dude! Demon chasing, let's go, we have to go. Oh, Gita, what are you doing here? Does mom know where you are? What? She's your sister? Yeah, what of it? Gotta sit down for a sec. Olguita, go home. What are you doing here? I'm... I heard you playing and wanted to see who it was. Frank lets me practice here. The guest house is too small and my mom doesn't like the noise. It's a little musty in here. That's the only choice I got, unless you have a better idea. Um, why don't you come to Rob's house? Just don't try to save me. I see you carrying around your Bible. I'm not all into that. Got it? Got it. I'll leave you to it.
servant of the high god. I'm coming for you. <laughs> What is your name? My name is David. Hmm. And what is your interest in the supernatural? I never really thought about it until I came to Mission Point. Yes, this place has that effect on people. You're back. I saw her on TV. I was curious. Yeah, she's kind of like a local celebrity. But what is with you and all this spiritual stuff? I don't know. I find it interesting. <laughs> OK, whatever. It's a little weird, right? That seems hypocritical. Nice look. This is fashion. So what do you like to do? Mm, well, you're looking at it. Work at a bookstore. Well, I'm trying to save enough money to move out. Is that even possible? It seems like no one gets away from this town. Well, I've got plans. Big plans. Like what? Move to Hollywood? Something like that. I sing. I play guitar. Do you want to play sometime? Sure, I'm down. I'll text you. Yeah. Dude, that's so totally killer. Didn't expect that to come from you. Why? Everybody knows Jesus people don't play rock and roll devil music. Good Christian boys like you only play easy listening, joyful like choir music. Yeah? Organ music, right? Look. Heidi, Jesus, Adam, free. <clears throat> um, the drums are over there if you want to play. Hell yeah. One, two, three, four. So lit! Jesus can rock, Gomez. And I've been thinking how cool it would be to start a Christian rock band. Yeah, I was in a band once, but it sure wasn't a Christian band. Yeah? What do you call yourselves? A Jomalek. Sounds weird. Where's it from? The Bible. Really? From where? A person, a place? A demon. David, you mean you haven't read about it in that Bible of yours? I haven't been a believer for that long. Well, it's in there. Why didn't you name your band after a demon? Dude, <laughs> it's just a name. There's no such thing as demons. How long are you going to believe in that trash? There's spirits all around us. Ever feel like we're not alone? No. Do you? Yes, all the time. Ever since I moved to Mission Point, I feel like we're being watched. You are. Everyone's watching you. You're the new kid. In 
my loss to us and never in path and my blinders and nothing to see and my death for you and nothing to say oh maybe and my loss to us and never in path and my blinders and nothing to see and my death for you and nothing to say oh maybe was expecting. What were you expecting? I don't know. Something a little darker, angrier. So I hear a window open up on the second floor. I see my dad stick his head out and he says to me, more free periods? <laughs> <laughs> and now for the talent of Danny. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Shh. Quiet. There are worried whispers in the air. I was once told that the divine speaks easy to those with open ears. Intuitive woman holding beauty and power. Here are ones that hear God even louder. That's because I like the color black. Doesn't mean I'm angry. I look good in black. Yeah. Yeah, you do. So are you sticking around for the rest of this? Unless you want to do something. I can use a walk. Sure. With teeth like a dagger, for a heart so pure, so human, is what they're after. Tick tock as the moon fully glows, there's only a few of us who truly know. Men, women, with beauty and power. I... Okay, new guy, tell me a little about yourself. I wouldn't know where to start. You know the basics. Where were you born? Why are you here? What's the deal with the religious books? Where'd you come from? I guess I was from here. Huh? Here, like, here, here. This is a very small town where everyone knows everyone. What's your last name? Cutter? Yeah, I don't think that's a name in this town. You make it sound like we're all related. You know Blake? He's my cousin. Mom's maiden name is Weaver. 
afraid to ask. What's your last name? Stevens, as in Jaden is my older brother. Yeah, my parents were told that they couldn't have kids, so they adopted my brother. And then a year later, surprise, I popped out. But why do you think you were born in Mission Point? It was something my mom said. Where is your mom? She's been in and out of institutions my whole life. She was diagnosed with schizophrenia, so I really don't know. Whoa. It was almost as if at times she was saying, don't go to Mission Point before you turn 18. I saved you. When do you turn 18? End of the month. Wow, so you listen super well. Like I said, it's hard to tell what's real and what's a reality in her mind. What do you think your mom meant by she saved you? I don't know. What time is it? Midnight. Hi. Crap. It's past my bedtime. Yeah, what the hell? Prince, ruler, and architect of the universe, you who live in the air, come forth and inhabit us. To empower us, may you delight in your servants as we delight in your power. Come forth and answer to your names. Pan, Lilith, Sabazios, Proserpine, Ishtar, <laughs> and the greatest of all, Balil. Let's get a little closer to see what Rob's saying. Sesepe, Medominus, Tenebris. Ah! Rape. That sounds like my dad. Come on, let's go. That we may serve you and each other. We acknowledge thee, Balil, as our all-encompassing master. Well, that got weird. Yeah, but I had fun. Me too. So are you free tomorrow? Yeah. See you then. Let's see you. Good morning. I'd have thought you'd be sleeping in. Given that you got home late last night. But it's okay. I'm gonna let it slide this time. What? Who's the girl? Zoe Stevens. Zoe Stevens? Look, you know, I'm glad you're making friends. Hey, David, last night, did you hear, did you see anything? Yeah. What was that? I don't know, but I'm gonna figure it out. So I planned on hanging out with Zoe again today. Is that all right? Yeah. But hey, David, remember curfew and stay out of the woods. Okay. But I thought everyone hangs out there. Things change. Jaden, where's Leanne? She'll be here later. Hey, where are you going? Out. Out? You don't have any friends. I'll help later, besides you have help. Yo, Jay. Isn't that that Jesus freak down there? No, you must be mistaken. Look. What the? Dude, 
Who cares? I care. No, no, not happening. So we want to do about it. Break them up? Yes. Call Ian. She'll have a plan. Hey, I want to mess with the new kid. <laughs> Don't be such an idiot. He's chilling with my sister. Ogeta, what are you doing? I care. She's my sister. I mean, the only thing we know about him is that he likes God. No, no weirdo religio guy is going to be messing with her mind. I have a plan, but I got to go. I'll see you soon. Ogita, there you are. What do you have in your hand? I think this is my dad's. Where'd you get it? Olguita. Kevin gave it to me. Who's Kevin and where did he get it? Kevin lives in the church. What do you mean he lives in the church? No one lives in the church. Kevin lives there. He came to me one day while I was playing. What? Kevin's. Always with me. You tell Kevin to go away, and I'll put this wheel maker thing back where you got it before my dad finds out. Oh, this must be Land's mom. Huh? I found an old engagement announcement and an old article. Frank Balspa the fourth to be wed to. Can you read that name? It looks like Sue Cucumber. Kidding. It looks like parts of the ink has ran because they didn't preserve the article in time. Are you listening? Yeah. Um, what year is that? 1999, why? Uh, I gotta go. Okay. I sat under an oak tree, meditating in the cool of the day. When behold, a great light shone before me. I heard his voice speak my name. Afraid, I fell to the ground. He told me to get up and write everything down. Jesus Christ. Rob? Rob? You home?
Hi, David. Father Edwards, what are you doing here? I just came over to check on things. Sorry I didn't call, but I was already in the area. Sure, come in. It's kind of weird that you're here. How so? I find myself asking questions and in need of guidance. What's that? I've been asking the same thing. It looks like a Bible, but sure doesn't read like one. By the time of renewal, we're done when my appointed child will return to the shrine of sacrifice upon which this message will be enshrined to commence anew the sweet aroma of offering. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. How are you adjusting the mission point? I don't know yet. Rob's nice. And school? I met a girl. <laughs> That's great, David. Have you heard how my mom is doing? The Lord is doing his part. And her faith seems to be getting stronger. I know. I pray for her every night. That's great, David. She can really use all the prayers. Is there anything else on your mind? Nope. I don't think so. Well, listen, I'm going to head out. Let Rob know I stopped by. And if you ever want to talk, I'm just a train right away. Hey, bro. My name's David. Yeah, yeah, sorry, David. Look, David, I'm really sorry about how I've been treating you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know, I, I've been a real jerk lately. Or at least that's what my girlfriend keeps telling me. A lot. Anyway, I was wondering if you'd come over and help me work on a float later today. Sorry, I'm busy. Come on, David. Seriously. No, thank you. All right, look, David. I promised my girlfriend I'd be nice to you today. So, can you do me a favor and just be all Jesus-like and forgive me? Fine. Cool, I'm driving. What was that about? Your brother invited me to go make a float with him. Sorry, Lion. I kind of have to. Weird. When? After school. See ya. David, hop in. I just don't get it. What's to get? I guess I've never seen a town get behind something like this before. It's tradition. Like Christmas. I mean, all of our dads are in it. And their dads and their dads' dads. There's really nothing to get, you just do it. So is it like a religion or a club? Kind of both. If you're asking if we believe in God, then yeah, duh. Actually, I've been toying with the idea of atheism. You know, science, evolution and such. But we also know that the wheelmakers offer something that, you know, going to church just can't. 
Like what? Look, we gotta hurry up or we'll never finish this. So, is this like the wheel maker time? Some of it. There's a whole book we just put in the highlights. Who's supreme intelligence? Is that how the wheel makers refer to God? Uh huh? Uh, yeah. Who else? Why? It says in the Bible, you shall have no other gods before me. And so I'm not sure they mean. It look, sorry, dude, but we don't really care. It, we just do it because it's tradition and our parents make us and whatnot. Plus, I want to go to Harvard and this looks really good on a college application. And where is Leanne? She was supposed to meet us here. Come on. Leanne, where are you? David is here and this plan won't work without you. Hey, yeah. Sorry I'm late. You basically left us here to do all the work. Excuse me? Yeah, it sucks, and I'm kind of over it. I did not come here to fight. Um, is it all right if I just head out? If it wasn't for David over here, we wouldn't have even been this far along. Fine, if David is such a help, maybe he can stay and I'll go. Oh, that's nice. Real nice, Leanne. I don't want to get in the middle of anything here, so... Shut up, David! David. I I'm just gonna... You have no respect. Where's the sympathy for me? We've been here all day busting our asses for your father's enshrinement crap. I'm done. Done. Hey, David, wait up. I'll walk with you. That's nice. Real nice, Leanne. Come on. This way. It's shorter. Oh, uh, Rob told me to stay away from the woods. Why? We've been playing in the woods since we were kids. Weird things happen out here. Oh, you're such a good boy. Come on, let's go. We should probably just take the longer route. It's more scenic. <laughs> Don't be such a loser. You have to admit, it's a little creepy in here, right? Oh, are you scared? No. But do you feel like we're being watched? No, do you? Yes, absolutely. There's something not right going on in these woods. It sounds like you need a little weed to take off the edge. No, I'm good. Your loss. It'll take that anxiety you've been holding on to from a level 10 to a zero. I wouldn't say I'm a 10. For real, you don't feel like we're being watched? Nope. What was that? What time is it? When did it get so dark? The sun just went down. Just chill out. Crap, I'm supposed to be home for dinner. Hold on, wait. Who's there? Did you hear that? No, it's just us, I promise. What is happening? Aren't you with Jaden? Yeah, so? I'm tired of him being such a dick. Maybe you need a nice guy, like you. I can't be here. I have a girlfriend, I think. You think? I'm impressed. I didn't think you could get such good footage. Maybe have some more faith in me. When are you gonna post it? In the morning, before school. Dude. Your sister's gonna be so pissed. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the point. She needs to dump that loser. Did you get it? Yep. Maybe don't post it to the whole school, but just snap it to your sister. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't say anything about posting it to the whole school. Just DM it to Zoe. Fine. Ooh, she looks mad. Dude, what did you do? Nothing. I did nothing. How could you? I have zero clue what you're talking about. Really? You, Leanne, Woods, does any of that ring a bell? How do you know about that? <sighs> Come on, he's a jerk. I still like you. Thanks. I gotta go find Zoe and explain. Maybe just let her cool off for a minute. Don't push. Trust me. 
I live with two females. How about I come over after school, we bang out some tunes, take your mind off things? Hey, why do you let them pick on you? Turn to them the other cheek. That's what the Bible says in Matthew, it. Matthew, chapter 5. That's right. Wait, but how did you know that? Well, I know lots of stuff like that. Mom is super religious, and she used to make me teach Sunday school. Didn't see that coming. Oh, yeah? Why? Out of character. I love my mom. She's the only parent I've ever known. Me too. Sort of. I've been in and out of foster my whole life, but when my mom's good and she's on her meds, it's amazing. It's those lows that totally suck. What happened to your dad? Ran out on us right after my sister was born and haven't seen him since. Those two kids were too much. You? I don't know. I think that might be what I'm here to find out. Here, like, mission point here, or like, here in the universe, big picture here? I do think my dad's from Mission Point, but I don't know if he's still here or not. Ooh, intrigue. I have thoughts, but it's not clear. Or, sounds like we should start asking questions about your long-lost poppy. No, the Lord protects me. He allowed Father Edwards to find me this place. Mmm, I don't know. That sounds like it could take a long time. Let's go ask Rob some questions. I'll know when it's my time. Maybe. I've been looking for you. Oh, yeah? Why? I wanted to apologize for the other night. Why do you care so much if I forgive you? It's just things got a little out of hand with the fake fight, and I'm sorry. Oh, so Miss Popularity can't stand the idea of someone not liking her. Get over it. That's not it. It's just. I have a feeling like we're supposed to be friends or something. They say trust your gut. Are you researching for a paper? No, just reading up on Psalms. Why? Why not? Right. Do you accept my apology? Look, I can't help you clear your conscience, okay? You have to do that on your own. Yeah. I have a feeling that there are a few things that I need to clear up. Like what? Well, when I was a baby, my mom took off, and I haven't heard from her since. I'm sorry. That's sad. Pops isn't exactly super chatty about the subject. We don't really talk about it. You seem kind of casual about it. Not having a mom is the only truth I've ever known. Here's something that's up your alley. I think my house is possessed by demons. Wait, really? Like, what kind of demons? I don't know, demons, the creepy bad kind. I've asked my dad to have Madame Olivia come over to sage the house. You should come. Cool. I'm in. What's up, dude? I'm coming over later. Sounds about right. See ya. Catch you later, dude. Blessings and grace fill this sacred space.
May joy and peace abide in this place. <laughs> Silence! Shh! <laughs> Please. I must insist upon absolute quiet. This is not gonna work. You're wasting your time. She's doing more harm than good. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Young man, leave this house now! No, it's all right. It's all right. Explain yourself. Only God can heal this place. Only through his authority will the spirits leave. Fine, then. Show us how it's done, then. Almighty, help me heal this place. Show these people who's really in charge. Amen. In your name, amen. Did you hear me, God? Rid the house of evil. Show these people your true power. In your name, Jesus. Now may we continue. Hey, wait up! <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, Madam Olivia should be ashamed of herself. No, dude, I'm in for you. I gotta find Olgita. Later, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so I'm actually glad you stopped by. Something's not right. Between you and David? Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. David's actually, he's a great kid. I've seen where he's been going through with some of my stuff, but. You know, nothing worse than <laughs> what I put. Chew through, Father. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Rob, you were a challenge. <laughs> but look at you now. A sheriff. Yeah. Right? I mean, genuinely, my, my, my dream job. Which is, you know, which is why I'm concerned about this town, because something here, it, it is spooky. Hmm, spooky? Yes. Wow. Yes. It's it's these wheel makers. I'm telling you, man. Look, Mike, I'm talking initiation ceremonies, midnight meetings, blood oaths, okay? And it's creeping me out. This is not... Hey. You all right? Fine. Father Edwards. Just here to see how both of you is adjusting. How are you making out these days, David? Well, I just came from a house aging. Uh, excuse me? Where? At the mayor's house with Gomez. It looked like something was wrong, so what happened? It didn't work. What, what didn't work? The house aging? I'm not surprised. No! God abandoned me. I asked him to rid the house of evil, and he made me look like a fool. Let, let me ask you something. What was your motive when you were in that house praying in front of all of those people? Was it to put on some type of magic show? Or was it truly and sincerely to set that house and everyone inside? free to set everyone free do you remember when jesus was on the cross do you and everybody told him to come down off of it and then they would believe he didn't put on a show for his daughters did he so why are you so sure he wasn't working on your behalf behind the scenes at the exact moment that you were praying think about it see david i 
I don't know everything that's in your heart, but I can only suggest to you that you do everything out of love, nothing more and nothing less. Amen. Amen. Hey, listen, I got a little gift for your birthday tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome, son. Hello, folks. Welcome to another year of enshrinement. It was this day, many, many years ago, when the very first will maker, my great grandfather, Frank P. Balspa, the first, created the Will Makers right here in Mission Point. Everybody enjoy the festivity. Right. Let's dip. Woods? Oh, can we do something different? It's Leanne's birthday. I'm fine with the woods. Come on. Crazy. Damn, we're getting low on beer. On it, plus I gotta pee. Want me to come with? No, nah, it's okay. I'll be back in a few. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Heavenly Father. Save the whale makers and this whole town. And to any evil spirits, in Jesus' name, you must go. Mommy, what's up? Have you seen your sister? No la encuentro por ninguna parte. She's probably playing the church again. Ay, Dios mío. She knows she's not supposed to be in there. Dios mío, esa niña me tiene mal. Vamos a encontrarla. Let's go find her. Come on. Okay. Andale, andale, andale. David, it's you. The time has arrived. May our obedience be rewarded. Restrain him. Hey, sorry about the video. Yeah, right. I just need you to know that David had nothing to do with it. You should go find him. Saw him by the lodge. What? Let's go. Let go of me! It is written. What are you doing? On this eve of enshrinement, my heir will be revealed. Benevolent master, accept this holy sacrifice once and for all! Oh, hell no. This was not in the brochure. Hey, David's in there. Is he okay? No, Dad? you can't go. You no, can't go in there. Dad! You can't go in there. You can't. Dad, no! It's real! That puny dagger is nothing compared to the sword of the spirit. Dad! What are you doing? Huh? 
Dein Ki? Dios mío, ¿qué te pasa? Dad, stop this! Oh, shut up, you little brat! Do you think your father ever really loved you? Sister! faith like exercising a demon on a guy that turns out to be a real dad <laughs> or maybe ridding a town from evil but through it all I found my family and ultimately experienced the strength of true love I'm happy you stuck around yeah me too and Rob's been really nice letting me stay while I learned about you guys and where I came from so that sounds like you're leaving. I'm not leaving. My mom is doing better, and I want to go check on her. I get that. But now that our town has a new tradition, Mission Point Independence Day, <laughs> which falls on your birthday, are you coming back for it? Yeah. It's not like I'm far. And I'll have you guys to come back to. Oh, there you go. Oh, man, I am starving. I know, me too. Whew, what a beautiful day, huh? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you in like four months. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, unfortunately, the battle of good versus evil carries on.
to condemn Contract for allocation The selling of your soul Realize a criminal Is falsified But it's all that you control The badge is a threat 